Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 with me, Full Symmetry. Today, I just came over here and look at this thing. This is crazy, Azuma has been a busy bee, oh my goodness. It looks so good. I'm so, so glad that he decided to uh, build an actual castle there because, man, this was looking a little bit lonely just sort of on its own. I'm guessing that was the plan all along. Right, so today's project we are going to be working over at the Christmas area. I know, surprise, surprise, it's 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 like it's Christmas or something or, or near enough. Uh, yeah, look at this place. Oh my goodness. I was about to say how amazing this uh, this rail was that uh, Rendog's been building. Look how cute it is. I finished it off in live stream because I had a bunch of redstone blocks and uh, and concrete spare, and it just looks amazing. Ah, oh, it just looks so so good. But look at this. This has literally appeared overnight. I'm not even kidding. This looks amazing. I know this is Scar. 100%. I'm 100% certain it's Scar. Speaking of Scar. Who's that down there? That's Scar, right? Hey, Scar. I <laughs> just, just chilling, just chopping down trees. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh man, this place is beautiful. I was gonna say I've been super, super worried about this whole area not being filled up, but man, we can place an order for a custom tree to be built in your base. The tree can be anything you want. You cut Christmas tree lot, dude. Where do we want a Christmas tree built? Oh man, look, they've even got the little thing that like puts the Christmas tree in the net. I actually have never had a real Christmas tree, so I have never seen this in person, but I've seen many, many uh, YouTube videos of, of that. Uh, and people like diving through it and it like puts a net around trees and stuff. I don't really know. I guess it sort of makes it easier for you to like move the Christmas tree because, well, it's usually like that. <laughs> and therefore very, very difficult to move. But anyway, today we're actually gonna be working over here. I better show you guys before the sun goes down because that's looking quite low already. But yeah, we're gonna be working on this island over here. I claimed this one for the Secret Santa and yes, coming soon. I know, it's been a little bit delayed. I know, it's already like later in the, the month than I wanted it to be, but that's okay because as soon as someone puts their name in, if I get the hammocks to do it ASAP, and I'm sure you guys will help me out by poking them and being like, guys, put your name in the secret Santa quick. Um, I'll send them all a message and be like, hey, this is the date that we need your names in. So um, yeah, for this, we're gonna be building a Santa sleigh. Yes, I have not built one um, that large before. So I'm thinking it's gonna be here sort of up to that line there. And then this line, um, basically from this side onwards, it's gonna be horses as reindeer. That's that's the best option I have. Otherwise I've gotta build reindeer out of blocks, which just doesn't feel like that's gonna work very well. So uh, uh, wish me luck, I'm gonna actually go and try and find some reindeer or, well, yeah, no, some reindeer. I'm gonna go try and find some reindeer soon. In fact, right now, in fact, I'm gonna, I think, try and fly around, try and find two um, brown reindeer, because if I bring them over here, breed them up while I'm working on it, and then we'll end up with um, however many reindeer we can fit in this area. I'm actually not sure how many reindeer Santa has. Oh, and then of course we need uh, Rudolph as well at the front. Um, no idea how we're gonna manage that, although, oh, imagine, imagine if you had a horse that could stand completely still facing that way, and you could use an armor stand holding a red block for the nose. <gasps> that would have been incredible. But, um, well, horses move, so. <laughs> yeah, I also tried lighting this thing up, but I think I'm gonna ruin too much of the snow if I do that, so. We'll leave it sort of dark and bring a bed over here, perhaps. So, yeah, let me go on a hunt for some horses, and fingers crossed we can find some, because I actually have no idea where they're gonna be. So I feel as though I saw some horses once completely north of my base in this sort of area. But I've come over here and, well, there are horses! Oh my goodness, I thought there was gonna be no horses! <gasps> They're all black and white horses though. Oh, um... Uh... Okay. Are there any more reindeer looking horses? Oh, there are! Dude, there are two brown horses! Oh, yes, perfect. Well, I'm having an awful lot of difficulty getting this horse in a boat. I don't know if you can even do that. Um, 
Hello? Would you like to get in the boat, please? You're not going to be a fan of swimming, are you? So... Okay, that's not going to work. Right. Uh, the other option is, um... This. Do you want to get in the boat now? It's a lot safer. No? <laughs> no, he's, he's decided the nether is the way to go. Okay, well, uh, good luck to you then, dude. I'm hoping we, uh... We, what did I place that there for? <laughs> I'm hoping we come out in a, in a nice safe space because I've got a feeling uh, we might not. So luckily the portal comes out at Tango's Drown Farm, which is that little thing there. Uh, well, I say little thing, there's actually a big building on top. Um, and actually this guy should be able to get through pretty easily. And uh, then we'll just get him through any of the portals over there because it'll be fine. As long as he's on land, it'll be fine. So... Come on now, moment of truth, dude. Moment of truth. I'm meant to be building a sleigh today, not dealing with reindeer. But hopefully he won't die. I've dug it out big enough, hopefully. Please. Yeah, he's uh, not okay. Okay, of course he's not okay. Dang it. Why are horses always killing themselves in the nether? Right, okay. Now we just got to get you... Oh, now he's killing me. He's getting revenge. Okay, we've got to just dig this out and make it a little bit safer. And there we go. As long as there are no ghosts, <laughs> we're good to go. I spoke too soon. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. I'm just, I was trying to get him through my base, but it's not really that safe, is it? Going through there. No. Oh. Get back in the hub, horse. Get back in the hub. It's going to be safer going somewhere else. Okay. Let's go maybe in one of these uh, portals that is a bit safer, perhaps. And more open on the other end as well. Well, that's not how it's meant to work. What? Um... Do horses not work like they used to? If you bred two, like you've got this darker one and this lighter one, you would get either or? Or, you know, a similar colour? How on earth have you given birth to a white horse? Pegasus? Is that you? You're not very Christmassy. Um... Okay, well my plan hasn't worked that well then. So I've been so concerned about this that I actually googled it and I've read someone's reply two years ago on a Reddit post. <laughs> so take this bit with a pinch of salt. But basically, out of w one out of nine times, you will get an unrelated colour from the horses that you breed. Which I think is really interesting. I quite like that idea. Like, it's... It, yeah. It's good, because, like, say you're on a world where you can only find, like, two, two horses, you know? You might want some variety. Yeah, you'll, you'll end up getting it after a while. Okay, cool. Just let, let's hope the next few times is, uh, is working, because now that I can't, I can't really breed the white one with any other horse, because otherwise we're going to get some more white horses, which is <laughs> not what we want. Dang it, why did I make it so difficult? I could have just gone with any horse. But no, I had to be picky, of course. Okay, I'm ready now to start building this thing, and uh, I think I have a plan. I'm gonna chop out this right here, and this is gonna be the very, very front. And because I'm gonna want some, what are these called, skis at the bottom of it, they're gonna have to obviously go all the way along. So I think I'm not gonna want them here and here. One, two, three, four, five in the middle. Yeah, that'll give us enough room in the middle, uh, and it's nice to keep it odd numbered, but if I grab some stairs, I'm going to try and see if we can get a bit of a curve going on here. So I think if we go with something like that, and then if we go with something like that, and then if we go with something like that, does that give us a curve? Sort of, right? And then we can probably do something like that at the very end as well, perhaps? Maybe even at the end, just because, you know, it's the end and we don't want anything too curly. We could have something simple like that. Just a nice little detail. Perhaps that one's the wrong way around. It looks quite small, so we might actually have to make these full blocks. But I think until we actually build the sleigh itself, we'll have to, um, yeah, we'll have to build the sleigh and then redo the skis if we need to. But they do look pretty cool and I, I as soon as I saw this was a way you could do, like a curvy, a curvy front, I was like, yes, we've got to do that. Right, well, a whole bunch of time has passed. We've got some horses. I think I've got like nine or ten in here. One of which did come up with this random pattern. 
but hey, that's okay. We've got enough brown horses to work for reindeer. They all look pretty good. And uh, yeah, I've just noticed some of these have little white marks on there on their little heads there. That's quite cute. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, the, the, the sort of type of horse has changed as we've been breeding. We haven't had another one like this. <laughs> that was a completely, it must have been a complete fluke that that was the first horse we got. Anyway, um, we've been working on the sleigh a little bit here and um, I'm basically just building up the side to get some sort of um, slay shape because this is going to be the hardest bit I think so it goes up here and then I need it to come across and a little do, do a little bit like that I think and then this is three tall okay that'll work and then we've got like a three along there and then I think we'll just we'll, we'll just staircase it down and that should give us the sort of right sort of shape because this uh, this side is the back and the other side is the front. So if we look back at that, that looks like a sleigh kind of shape. I think it'll look better when we add some birch, because that's the plan. I'm going to start adding some birch slabs and stairs to sort of get this thing looking a bit smoother. So we'll probably add like stairs up here, slabs along the top, and probably another one there and then the same along this side too so we'll add another stair 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 oh that's not the right one there we go stair um slabs and then oh and then let's add something like this does that work does that work sort of yeah looks a bit like a bean or like <laughs> i don't know Looks a bit weird, but you're going to be seeing this thing at an angle, not necessarily straight on from the side. So, uh, yeah, let me get building this thing. I'll finish up all of the red, and uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back in when I know what is going on. Because currently, oh, I've just thought, I might want to get rid of the torches under here and add snow. So I've added a bit of detail. I think I've decided we're going to put torches on the front or some sort of lighting. Uh, but what I do need to do is light up the underneath and I thought since I'm going to be adding a false floor in the bottom of this thing Oh my goodness, there's a lot of blocks in here. Yeah, I've started adding wool I've run out over this side a little bit, but I'll go grab some in a bit Or we can just leave it. It doesn't really matter. It's meant to be patchy. It sort of just adds a bit of texture because it's quite a uh, Quite a flat looking building otherwise. So yeah, let's add just like some lights along here so the underneath of it will, will glow. The inside's probably going to be lit up anyway. Um, yeah, and we're definitely going to need a way out, aren't we? Because otherwise the floor is going to be uh, too low. So what I'm going to do is I think instead of going with birch, which by the way looks really great around here, I really like it. I might change those two stairs just to add a little bit more shape. But I think we're going to go with dark oak. Yeah, which look, look, these look a bit different. We've got a new texture. Oh, we've got version 3. Why is this so orange? I don't like that at all. Oh, have they changed the shade of this as well? Or is it, or is it okay? Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, they've made it more like spruce. They've added a bit more yellow and orange into the, into the colour scheme. Oh, I don't like that. I liked how like sort of grey they were. Oh, they've just made them like brighter. They were they were a lot more muted, and I and I really liked that. But yeah, I, I'm thinking we want to go with um, this sort of thing. So we're gonna add that there, and then I think we'll come down, and this middle section will be empty, but the rest is gonna be. Like up here, we've added a bit of like a, a boot or a trunk, if you're American, uh, so that Santa can like reach in. <laughs> I mean, Santa's pretty big if this is the size of his sleigh, right? But he can reach in and this is going to be full of presents. Uh, over here, we'll add a chair. We'll add, we'll add this a bit taller so that he can actually see over where he's going. And then that's that's why that makes a lot, a lot of sense down there to have the reindeer, because this is the front of the sleigh. And then, um, yeah, I mean... I don't know how he's gonna go off that way, but it's okay. Slays uh, float, right? Or like 
yeah, fly. So he can just go straight up, spin around like a helicopter, and um, and then go on his way off into the, the sea. But I didn't want it to face this way, because otherwise you wouldn't see it from anywhere, right? Guys, I've been working on this thing like crazy, and I've literally just almost got it done. Uh, just had a message from Stress Monster, though, saying, I have adopted Sandy Susan. She's going to a good home. Good to hear. Yeah, Sandy Susan has a home! Great! We need to home them all for Christmas, guys. All of my adopter box, uh, shulker boxes need uh, need homes. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna, I think, try and put some shulker boxes in there as well, actually saying that. Because it seems a bit weird it would just be full of just chests. Um, but yeah, this thing is looking good. I've realised while I've been building it that I've actually built it too wider than it's meant to be. So it's looking quite like a fat, quite, quite a fat sleigh, but that's okay. It's not the most awful thing in the world, it's not the best either, I'm fine with that, I'm not too worried, it's uh, yeah, it's just gonna look quite nice when I, I finally decorate the area, which I'm probably gonna do in a live stream, I'm probably gonna decorate this whole island and make the whole thing look spectacular, because the whole other, other areas do, you know, Scar's thing over there now, and for me it's looking very patchy and I don't have time today to just put snow everywhere, so that'll be a task for another day. But um, yeah, I've added lighting underneath trapdoors, we've uh, added this, I'm going to add some iron trapdoors on that if I get a piston and some redstone. But yeah, what I've got here is the welcome to the secret centre, place the names in here or here, because you know, we, we, we could end up getting more than um, nine um, hermits enter, so just in case. Um, we also have the Secret Santa guide, which uh, I can read out real right now. Uh, Welcome to Secret Santa 2018. All you need to do to enter is rename a piece of paper with your name, place the paper in one of the dispensers provided, wait until after the given time to draw your Secret Santa. After this date, you may draw your Secret Santa by pressing a button and getting a name from uh, a name at random from the dispensers. If the button doesn't dispense one, try another. Optional, feel free to also press the naughty or nice dispenser to decide whether you build something nice for them or something not so nice. Winky face. It's up to you. Any questions, just ask. Yeah, so you can you can you can see if they're gonna be um if they've been naughty or nice, but I haven't put a date on this yet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna I'll figure that out. But yeah, names can be drawn from, and then I'll have a date, and I put the buttons in here to go there and there, so people can draw them. Um, and what else is going on in the chat? It says you can get a brand new box. Are you selling them not as pets also, or just the ones on display? Uh, just the ones on display for now. Possibility of expanding <laughs> soon, though. Because I can also go to the end a whole bunch in live streams and pinch all of the shulkers. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, I, I, I <laughs> yeah, there's room for expansion. But, um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I'll take the last two and all then. So we'll go like that and then down two and then across like that, down and then like this. And then what we'll do because leads don't actually work. Yeah, that's the, look at that. Does that all look perfect? It looks like the reins have just been let down they're loose, and what's going to be really cool, I'm going to try and make these match, um, is that we will then have said horses, I mean reindeers, we need to make all this snow as well underneath the fence posts, but we can basically make little pens for them, like a so, and then we'll have one, two, three, two, four, six, eight, we might be able to find, to fit eight pens, because I think there are eight reindeer, other than, uh, Rudolph, of course, so we'll try and fit as many in as possible, but yeah, I'm running out of fence posts So we need to put the snow down first. So let me do that. Grab lots of snow and uh, I guess I'll come back when it's almost complete. Right, I think it's time to possibly take a nap actually. The sun is going down, but also get these guys out of here and in here. How is this gonna work? I, ju I guess I just put you there and then you're in. There you go, although I'm now also in. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that every time, right? Yeah, look at that. It's a shame that I can't make them all face the same way, but I think that's gonna look pretty good. It's gonna be the best we can do, I think, without leads, because leads just are broken. Why, Moya, get on the leads. I want the leads to work. It looks so much more natural. Okay, that looks great, actually. Oh, let's get rid of this. How cool does that look? Oh, look at the little heads poking out. Oh, they look so, so good. So now, 
I want to go even more with the detail. Uh, as much as I'm not going to finish the whole island, I want to finish this chunk. You can see I've placed loads of snow down, uh, and I think actually if I do the majority of the area, especially the very, like, the edges uh, with that, I think it will look really good. Uh, but I really, really want to have some armor stands in here that are, like, feeding the horses with hay, so I've got some extra wheat for them to hold. I want one gathering some water, perhaps, so let's maybe make them stand there. And then I would like an elf or something up here, greeting you, looking, you know, telling you to look that way, basically. You, you'll you look at that and you'll go, oh, there's a secret Santa guide to read. And um, and then maybe we'll have Santa up here as well. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> we can get Santa on that chair, that would be amazing. So yeah, I need to go get my um, armor stand book and spend an awful long time probably fiddling around with armor stands. Yeah, it's going to probably take a while, so uh, bear with me for a while. Speaking of Christmas area though, look at this! What? Dude, there are stockings! Are there stockings? Do I see so stockings? I thought I did. Yeah! <laughs> look at those! <laughs> they look incredible. This might be spoilers. I'm sorry if it is spoilers. I can't help it. It just looks so good. This area is absolutely terrible for spoilers though. There's so much going on. You can't keep track. But man, I'm so excited. So I was just finishing up the sleigh as you can see. Doc M just came along with some snowballs. I don't know if he got me or not. He's on four. Oh, he's down there. I see exactly where he's at. Okay, let's get him then. If we can. I don't know if I've got Doc yet. Oh, oh, did I get him? It dinged. Yeah, 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 I got him. <laughs> I don't know if he got me. But that dinged twice there. Anyway, dang it, he just started like wandering along this, this, this thing here. What was I even up to? Oh, I was getting a sign. I've been back and forth a lot. Yeah, guys, look at this. I've added a path. We're going to have a bridge along here. Originally, this was going to come across here, but there's, there's not enough room for the reindeer and that. Um, so Zuma sort of put it in not a great spot, but I'm going to, I think, take that path and sweep it around the outside there and then cross over here somewhere. I think that's just going to look way better. And um, yeah, I'm going to build some horse stables over here in the live stream, I think. That's my plan. Because uh, we've got extra horses, so <laughs> they might as well go somewhere, right? And there's enough room on here for them too. I didn't want to make it too much forest... Um, on this island, but yeah. Uh, so we've got a secret center up here, this guy's pointing. I don't know if I've showed you guys with these with armor on, but yeah, this guy's collecting water for the horses. This guy's feeding them with the wheat. He's holding onto the, yeah, he's holding onto the fence there, leaning over. Very cute. Um, up here, we've got this guy pointing at the guy, so you can uh, you can see that. And then this guy over here doesn't look like Santa, I know, but he's looking at the list to see if you've been naughty or nice. Uh, as you do. But yeah, I don't know if there's a Santa head or something that we can maybe get in the game just specifically for that. That would be sweet. Maybe I'll, I'll do that just for Christmas and get a Santa head. But um, yeah, the idea is you come over here. Saturday 15th is going to be the, the first date you can start drawing them. So that'll be, you know, the B buttons here and here. You get to compress and then you'll get a random name coming out um, of them. Um, yeah, you rename paper. Paper's in here. Uh, you rename it there, plop it in one of these, I've put mine in already, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't remember what I was going to put in here. I think I was going to write the papers down in here. Paper. Uh, there's no doubt it was arrow, so we'll just go with that. Will that, will that stay there? Yeah, that that's clear enough, right? <laughs> but yeah, I'm so, so happy with this. We've got a giant forest out the back. We've got a sleigh that is humongous. We've got some candy canes in the area. Yeah, with a nice bridge there. It's gonna look so sweet, guys. So let me know what you think down below. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Oh, we're getting closer to Christmas, guys. I'm so excited. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.